parameter in my production server only. Then I will change the profile parameter in the production instance only or development server, development instance only. Okay, that parameter will be affected to up to that application server, that development or quality of production. We can add the profile uh, parameters, we can change the profile parameters, depends on our requirement. If I want to restrict the user, another user login, then I will give different kinds of like, user will be log out. If I give the parameter in instance profile, if you are doing the wrong password, you are using the wrong password, three times it will see and it will log out the user. So like that, we can set the value for that, not it three times, four times you can set, five times you can set. So like this, we can uh, we can restrict them, okay, by using these profile parameters also. Whenever after the installation, you need to import the profiles to OS level, okay. So right. for that, object and transaction code and utilities import profiles of all active servers. If you have three active servers, three profiles will be. Uh, three profiles will be automatically imported. Okay, all active servers. Click on this. So, in this path, the profiles will be imported. Okay, users, D users, SAP, yes, by system profiles. This is the OS level. Okay, this is the first step. After that, I want to change any parameter. I want to I want to set the default client for all SAP servers. Then RJ10 select the default profile, okay, and extended maintenance. Whenever you want to edit the data, we need to select the extended maintenance only, okay. Yeah. And change here. Set the parameter login system client. This is the default parameter. If you set the parameter here. So you can change the parameter. I want to activate triple zero as a default. So you can set the parameter for all application server copies and save the profile changes. Now activate the profile. Yes. I think the parameter is incorrect here. Other parameter. So like this, you can you can activate the parameter whenever you want to change the logins. Now I want to change in the development system only. Then RJ10 transaction code, select the development system instance profile, extended maintenance, here login system client. You can give here the value. Okay, and copy the value, save the value activate the profile and save the profile and activate okay and finally finally what we need to do import again and after that activation we need to import if you do the import now it will be updated in the OS level okay whatever the parameter we are giving that parameter will be updated in the OS level okay you got it yeah. So like this, we can manage the system profiles in our SAP. So it depends on our requirement. We do what we do. We can change the system profile. We can add the system profiles. So it depends on our requirement. That we need to do in a in this manner. SM50. SM50 is for work process overview. Okay. Okay. We can check the work processes here. What are running? What are not running? SU01 for user creation. SCCL is for local client copy. For remote client copy, SCC9 is a transaction code. Load balancing is like we are balancing the load of the application server. Okay. okay. So here for application server, so many people will be logged in like this. Application server is nothing but an instance. Okay, so this is the application server, which is uh, normally I will take development. This is the development server. Okay, uh, you take production server, not development. 
this is the production server okay production server is the client server you know that yeah okay so client sap is running so number of users will be logging with this system okay number of users will be logging why because they are running the client so number of users no so like this number of users are using this instance only so that time what happens um, there's a lot of stress on the server yes exactly it will get the stress on server the instance instance will get the stress so number of incoming requests are coming it will slow down sometime so in this scenario what we do is we do the load balancing okay we okay. we what we do is we create separate instances for the separate groups so for example end users are logging with this prd system so these three people belongs to marketing group these three, four people these four people belongs to financial groups these three belongs to hr group okay okay these three belongs to hr group okay in this scenario is the the marketing group marketing and uh, this one is the financial group financial users and this for human resource hr okay different users are using the prd system so we will categorize them into the group okay like this marketing group financial users group and human resource user group like this we will divide it. okay uh -huh. got it and yep. we divide these users to different instances like in this one instance only we can create different instances we can divide the instance to different groups okay you say this instance is for fi group like financial group okay this part is for marketing group and this is for hr group then fi users will be used here i can take this off okay and he can use as it okay so you see we are dividing the instance among the different groups okay yeah you got it okay. so it's the only one instance but we are dividing the instance for separate groups so this is called load balancing whenever you do this if you have number of fi users then that fi co instance only they can use they can log in with this fi co instance only and hd people will log in with this instance only and hr people will log in with this instance only so here we are doing load balancing on the three different groups okay okay got it yeah we are giving separate space for them for separate group in the instance this is called load balancing okay so for this load balancing we use smlg is the transaction code sml is the 
टी कोड पर लॉग ऑन लोड बैलेंसिंग ओके दिस इज वन परफॉर्मेंस ट्रेनिंग टूल लाइक दिस इज सीसीएमएस टूल कंप्यूटर सेंटर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम टूल ओके वी कैन इंक्रीजिंग द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द इंस्टेंस विद दिस लोड बैलेंसिंग ओके यू गॉट इट लाइक दिस वी डू द लोड बैलेंसिंग सो वी कैन क्रिएट ए ग्रुप फॉर एवरी यूजर वे क्रिएट ए सपरेट ग्रुप फॉर सपरेट यूजर्स वॉट वी डू इज whenever we create and we can allocate the one instance for them then after what we do is in this client system if the financial users are there in his client system if this is the one user you see this is the one user in his system what we do is we will configure the group server in their sap gui sap gui sap logon pad in sap logon pad we configure the group server in that we will add the group to the the server we can create the item in that server like this here in sap logon pad we can create the item like create item and next here normally we are doing the custom server but we select the group server here for that okay so we can allocate them one sap gui and we create a item for a group server that group server will be affected to this instance only whenever they are logging with the system they will use this space only if this user is using same hr user we will give one sap gui which is the configuration of the this server hr server okay like this we can share the work among the different groups in a different instances yeah this is called log on load balancing so tomorrow we do how this works log on load balancing how how we can configure how we can create a group how we can assign the group to the instance